Hey y'all, it's Tyler Farr here, and this is Land.com presents ACM Land and Lyrics. I have loved the outdoors and land since I was a child. Grew up in a small farm down Garden City, Missouri. Whether it was catching crawdads in the ditch to catfishing on a grandpa's pond or hunting, I just, that's how I grew up. It was just a way of life, and it's the only thing I've ever known. When I moved to Nashville, it wasn't like to be in the Hall of Fame. I, that wasn't like a goal. It was like, that'd be great but I'm a pretty simple person. My goal was literally to be on the Opry, have a hit song, little country house in the woods, some land, a tractor. So I got that fairly quick. What made me fall in love with this specific piece of property, uh, which is the only house I've ever looked at to buy. And I found it with uh, David Lee Murphy, Shane Miner, we were writing. Obviously David Lee Murphy's an artist and writer, Shane Miner. He was an artist too, and they've both written a ton of stuff. And we had finished writing, they're like, hey, you wanna go down the Duck River? My buddy, JD, he's got an awesome place. I'm like, sure, so we run down here, we pull in the drive, it's like, I'm like, where are we going? Cause when you're coming in, it's just woods. Like, man, this is freaking awesome. Now I see all these turkeys, the turkeys everywhere. Most turkeys I've ever seen in my life. And I'm like, God, I'd kill to have a place like this someday. Well, I'm a huge, avid turkey hunter. I'm a part owner in Buck Commander, which is an outdoor brand, with my fellow buddies, country singers, Jason, Aldine, and Luke, Brian. It's just like a bunch of grown men that still have an inner outdoorsy kid in them. That's what attracted me to this area and this farm. It's, a, it's an outdoorsman's paradise, so it was a no-brainer. How like being on this land makes me feel and I guess emotional, probably grateful, just as I never thought I'd have any of this. You know, there's not a whole lot of stability in the, in the profession I chose, and you know, I chose it, so it's part of it. A lot of risk, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of chances you take. And this place kind of teaches, or has taught me a lesson. This is where the happiness should be. You know, where you're at, where your family's at, nature and everything God made, and, and really the peace and serenity, and I could not think of a better place to heal coming off the road than like this place. Well, every day is the perfect day on this land. Every evening, right as the sun's going down, my daughter will come running up to me in the house or whatever, and she'll have bring her little, little muck boots. Dad, outside, outside, deer, where did deer go? You know, she wants to go look for deer. That's all she wants to do. Feed the fish, look for deer, look for turkeys. Last night, she was going nuts over the sow because she thought it was me because I'm always making out noise. She said, Dad, I can hear her on the front porch. That's my best days, or even just best moment. I always prefer to ride out here. I don't do it the same every time, but usually starts with a general idea. I'll have two guys in my shop house slash man cave out there, and you go out on the porch, you see a field, trees, everything country, and then how do we ride it? Not only how do we ride it, but how do we ride it like no one else would ride it? I just like writing country music. And if they, they're in and they want to write country music, and they want to come out here and get a little taste of the country, I'll give it to them. I mean, I feel like I owe it to the fans to produce something authentic and not only sing country music with subject matter that is country. I like to be able to walk the walk, talk to talk, make the music. I'd like to be the, the real deal. So I'm not, because I'd feel like a fake. And I, you know, some singers, great. Live in a subdivision. Doesn't make sense to me. If I have enough money to buy land and, you know, pee off my back porch, that's what I'm gonna choose. It's like I'm here, I'm now. I'm alive, I can breathe, there's trees, there's a hickory tree, oak tree, sycamores. You know, it's my church, and that's why I moved out here. But yeah, country living to me is just, it's just a lifestyle that, it produces country songs, is what it does. Well, that's a wrap, folks. Thanks for tuning in, watching us, checking out my farm with me on Land.com Presents ACM Land and Lyrics.